Wow. The Morgan won. Hashishanan's fifth eye lost. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because of this sneaky victory? The devious Tartars secretly killed Rockneedon anyway as he was walking over the Chala Pass toward his promised freedom in the oasis of Gazia. Miss Delacroix. The sect of the assassins ruled. Earthy, uh, can you give me uh, a summary of the whole uh, trip up to now? Because we're, we're headed for a wrap-up. Um, yeah, okay. The sect of the assassins of Hashishan ruled from their world headquarters, perched on the summit of a firm and unscalable. Leave the scales on the fish rock, uh, whose battlemented walls with turrets, observation towers, one arrow shot apart. Uh, above, soared arrogantly the above mosquito infested uh, a lowlands, uh, malaria infested, well hidden behind the Elbers Mountains south of the Caspian jungle from their weird rock. The assassins plotted legendary political murders and terrorized Muslims and Christians well, and Kurds and Sufis, especially when they were dancing, tranced out. The whirling dervishes get them in trance. That's the easy time to... Uh, yeah. For two centuries, it, they did that. As far as the Lebanese coastline, Syria. Well, what about when the Knights of St. John challenged Hashishan militarily, but failed? Because the Crusaders failed to phantom what motivated Hashishan and his sect? Where's the giddy up coming from? Because for the European mindset in the 11th century, uh, the assassins with that what transcendental free love and hashish trances uh, have forever, uh, right up until now, been an incomprehensible enigma within a puzzle, in the shell of a mystery, reeking of incomprehensibility, just when you needed to. Finally, the retreating knights were simply grateful to get away from the assassins and sail back still alive to their comfortable crown jewel crusader castle on fabulous Rodos with the wine cellars, uh, fabulous alcohol stash, parties seemed endless. Well, oops, story within a story. Earthy, you are really... Um, uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, until <laughs> Suleiman, the uh, magnificent, uh, at least in his own mind, uh, Sultan, uh, defeated the Knights of St. John 
1522 A.D. Haven't we downloaded this before and forced them to sail to Malta? What? Thank you. I've got it covered from now on. You know. 218 years of this. Old man on the mountain, kismet. That means karma in Persian. Kismet had run its course. And the last leader of the garrison betrayed the rock. I mean, he just said, I'm out of here. And the Turkish tanks came over the border and, you know, um, genocide. Kurds, allies, former allies? <laughs> well, that'll teach him, huh? And the whole world. Yeah. Well, the last leader of the garrison was himself assassinated in a sneaky political hit job just when he got to the top of the hill for a hookah break. Well, um, the surviving assassins um, drifted to Qum, below Tehran, before Persepolis and Shiraz. Uh, don't even go to the Straits of Hormuz. You went too far. And the water is salty and warm. It's not even fun to swim in. Um, they went to the Sindh. Hottest place on the planet in Pakistan and to the mm, fresh Himalayan Yarkon Valley in Chitral. Um Many former Hashishan troops disappeared into like the, the wilderness, surrounding wilderness, and eventually. Uh, Married the, uh, they've been banging them for generations anyway, chicks, and quietly resettled in greater Olamont as of today. Farmers they became. And still, to this day, uh, the Aga Khan, the leader of the Ismaili sect of Islam, traces his descendants to the old man on the mountain, Hashishan. 